everyone and welcome back to another episode of Miss Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fan freaking tastic day of the most amazing variety that only gets more fan freaking tastic from here on out. Low key, I kind of wanted to see what this fence was about. Turns out not much, but what we were able to find out in terms of more concerning news is that this little town over here appears to have bandit inhabitants. And last we left off, I was kind of leaning towards like leaving them alone for a little bit, but I've reconsidered and I want blood. And that's exactly what we are going to be going after. We got at our disposal, I don't know, about three shotgun shells. Can I parkour over this, please? There we go. Nothing like walking on top of barbed wire, but we got, uh, whatchamacallit, three shotgun shells at our disposal, five pistol bullets and a machete. Last we checked, they were patrolling some of these houses. I don't know if the fact that, like, we reloaded the game, respawned some of the zombies. That better not be the mist rolling in, dude. I'm not trying to deal with zombies right now. But yeah, check it out, check it out, check it out. There we have one bandit. And maybe we could try and get the jump on this fella. Hit him with some shotgun rain up close because this thing is capable of doing a one-shot kill. Which could be huge for us. So, uh, yeah, why don't we try and actually sneak up on these fellas? We saw three bandits for sure. And, uh, like, these guys are out on patrol. I think there might be a bandit camp down over that way. I don't know if I want to kill these bandits or what first. Do we, like, leave them be and go kind of check out the camp? Nah, we're going for the blood. So I did see this bandit over here. Now, once we shoot this first shot, I think this is going to alert everybody that we're here. So we might be in for a little bit of trouble. Hopefully, our combined ammunitions will help us work through that trouble. I'm not seeing the other raiders, but hello! Raider number one guy! Where did you go, compadre? I saw him patrol over this way. Is he like around back there? He's gonna like turn this corner. I'm gonna freaking jump scare myself. Okay, but actually, where'd he go? Okay, I don't like this. Oh, he's over there. Is he moving over to that camp? I think that he might be. We might be able to take this guy out with a pistol relatively nicely. I just don't know if he has his comrades or what's going on, but yeah. It looks like they're actually part of, like, patrolling this camp up here. Little bit suspicious. Here we are, stuck in our wild prey. We got the, uh, bandit in his natural habitat out here in the outback. And, uh, we're gonna be trying to get a jump on him right here. And, whoop! Let me just go and slip and slide down there, I guess. Where did this bandit go? Hello? Crikey, we lost sight of him. That's not good, especially at a time like this. Okay, actually, where'd the bandit go? Excuse me. Dude, okay, I'm a little bit worried right now. Is he, is he up in the camp? I think I just maybe saw him moving. We gotta stop crouching, man. That's why he's like being able to get some ground on us. Okay, where'd this bandit go? I'm a little bit concerned right now. I was stalking the prey. I think the prey's stalking us now. I'm gonna patrol the perimeter of this camp and see if I can maybe get an eye on him. Is he like down here by my car? Dude, where did this guy go? <clears throat> Dude, where did this guy go? We genuinely just lost him. Okay, I'm a little bit terrified right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Hello, bandit guy. It is me. Not so bandit guy. Can we come together and uh, make something great happen? Like your death? Yes, no, maybe so. Dude, okay, like actually. He disappeared. He disappeared. There's, where did, where could this man have gone? Dang, that's what happens when you take too long to, uh, oh, stalk your prey out in the wild. Do you like maybe circle back around this way? Dude, I, I'm actually lost. Where could he have possibly gone? All right, well, if we can't find him, hopefully he doesn't get the jump on us, but uh, maybe we take this opportunity. Maybe we explore past this town. Do you like circle back or something? Like, what's going on here? I was going to say, maybe we kind of go past this town for now. So I am worried about these patrols because apparently they have evasive maneuvers up at the wazoo. Let's go down the street and actually explore that camp down the ways, but... Uh, we are continuing our Miss Survival series, as y'all can uh, probably see. Glad day that you guys are still loving the bejesus out of this series. If you guys want to see more, as always, don't forget to hit that like button and let me know in that comment section uh, down below. Not to mention being subscribed with that notification bell. Hit to stay up to date and in the loop of things. And okay, we're going to call... Yeah, 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 yeah. 
That's what I think it is. I think that's the camp we were talking about. And I think we can come across raiders up in here. Whoa! Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Jeebus, I'm out. I'm out. It's a sniper rifle, dude. Oh, take cover. Okay. 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 Okay, that's not good. That's not good. We're pinned. <laughs> the sniper has got an eye on us. Like, I don't know. Maybe we try and, like, go and get the jump on this sniper. Just in case things absolutely hit the fan. Let's make sure that we save the game. <laughs> uh... I don't know how we, like, maybe we tried, like, dodge and weave through here. Do we gotta try, like, I wanna kill this man, because th this is our, one of our only chances to actually get the sniper rifle. So we gotta get all sneaky deaky like and try to get the jump on this fella. Hopefully reinforcements aren't being called in when they heard the freaking sniper shots, because that's pretty loud. Oh yeah, it's time for us to get a little bit sneaky deaky. So we got a couple of hours of daylight, so I think we should be A-OK. -okay. And yeah, we just wanna get... Oh, what? What? How's he see? How, oh, my God. Oh, how does he see me, man? Okay, I'm just backing up out of there. We will take the long way around. Uh, the, is this man a psychic? Is he still shooting at me? Dude, this is actually horrifying. We got to try and, like, find a way over there. Oh, I think I hear zombies. I'm not trying to fight the zombies right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Dude, I, like, can he literally see me through the trees? Is this man hacker? I think he might be hacker. Well, as long as he can't... Okay, uh, we're gonna go, like, really around the way to try and find this camp. Or s safely make our way over there. We're gonna go really up high in the mountains. Try to use the natural terrain as our cover. And, uh, smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. We need all the likes we can to take down this fella. Because I need some power. Okay, I think that's the area right there we want to get up to. Let's start kind of getting sneaky deaky. But yeah, I need some power. Please smash the bejesus out of that like button. It will hopefully give us the strength to defeat this raider. Oh, he's got sight of us again. This time through some rocks, apparently. So that's horrifying. Okay. Hello, rock. How you doing? Yeah, I like, I, I like, we got to freaking run up there and get to some cover. Because if not, they might be able to do a big number on us. Okay, he doesn't see us right now. This is good. He better not be able to see us through some trees, man. That'd be cheeky. Too cheeky. And okay, hopefully we don't break anything on this slide down. And continue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Getting all sneaky deaky like okie dokie. If we could maybe get... Where is this guy, man? Oh, this is horrifying. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know if there's, like, other raiders here, too, or if it's just that fella. And I don't know exactly where he was. Oh, is that him over there? Is that him? Is he on patrol? Or is that just, like, a random raider? Oh, no, no, no. He's up there. He's up there. Okay, I see you. I see you, buddy. I see you. We gotta really try and take this fella down first. Just in case things hit the fan, this could be our only opportunity to pick up a sniper from this guy. Which would be a huge win. Like, where is he exactly? Dude, I'm not 100% sure. I think he's up on, like, that second platform. Okay. What's the best way of approaching this? <laughs> hey, guys. Don't hurt me. Thanks. Is there, like, a hole in any of these fences, or do we need, do we need to, like, go in through the front? I don't know, man. This is brutal. <gasps> okay, let's continue patrolling a little bit. Is that him up there? Oh, that is a per Oh, that might be him. Okay, hold up. We got an angle? Let's wait for him to kind of look the other way, dude. This might be it. This might be our only opportunity to take him out. YOLO! Did he die? I don't know, bro. Hopefully. Let's go. It's shotgun rain time. They definitely know that we're around. They're definitely gonna be out for blood. Ay, caramba! Uh, uh, uh. Sniper rifle dude up there? No, I don't see him. Okay, good, 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 good. Good start, dude. Did we take him down? Did we actually just manage to take down Sniper Rifle McGee over there? Okay, I'm going up to the second floor. We are taking care of things personally. Yes, he's dead! Let's freaking go! Boys and girls! We have done it! The hunting rifle weapon is ours! Let's freaking go! We now have our very own sniper rifle capabilities, and we have a ton of ammo for this puppy left over at home, too. Dude! There might even be a person we could rescue from here as well, so we gotta investigate a little bit, but let's freaking go! I am so hyped right now by the way that things turned out. Thank you, Bandit. Oh, is that some ammo, too? Ah, uh, that's rifle ammo. 
And apparently you could load that into the Dragonov rifle as well, which we don't have at the moment. And, uh, I, dude, I thought there was another raider, but literally just like a solo, solo dolo guy over here. And I want to be careful, dude, because I'm not trying to lose this hunting rifle now that we got it. But, yeah, let's investigate this place and see if we can't maybe, like, rescue someone from here. Maybe find some valuable parts. So, now it is time that, I like, I'm still not sure that we're safe, but, I mean... Sniper rifle guy's dead, so that's good enough, but dude, that's amazing. Now we just gotta figure out if any of you guys know how to get that dragon off rifle that we could actually load this ammo into, please let me know in that comment section down below. Because I I think we have most weapons except for the revolver and the dragon off rifle. After that, I think that we're gonna be good to go. Oh mama dude, that was stressful. Let me say taking down a sniper is a pain in the butt, but we had the perfect angle and he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hello? Okay, that freaking air conditioner makes it hard to navigate things, apparently. Um, can't go into there. Not finding really a lot of loot or anything, and it's not looking like there's anyone we could rescue, but there's a... Oh, we can't climb this ladder either? Bruh! Come on, now. It's a ladder. Those are built for climbing. They're built for laddering. Like, come on. Uh, it doesn't look like there's really much loot at this location, though, unless I miss something super obvious, which <laughs> there's always a chance. Uh, me and my derpiness, we, uh... We thrive when there are opportunities to miss things that are totally obvious. Dude, I seriously thought there was another person. I lost him, man. Oh, what is this? Some food! Thank you for the beef can. That's all that we're getting, though. We got our cars over there. Hopefully the bandits didn't find our car. That'd be bad. Or could potentially be bad. Nah, at this point, I'd say let's just kind of bring things back home. Arr. I kind of want to, like, grab some ammo for the hunting rifle. And, yeah, we do have some at home, so... Why don't we loot up some of these cars? Hey, spark plug. I will take that. Yeah, let's loot up some of these cars. Just kind of collect some loot from these puppies. And then make our way back home, maybe once we got a uh, full inventory. Were there any cars back here? That maybe we missed. Also, hold up. There may be... Is there something on the roof over here? Is there, like, some way you can get on the roof? I thought there was. Psych, never mind. You never know, man. Roofs, they tend to hide things. Now, I think there's actually another bandit camp down that road over there. We might be able to rescue someone from that. I'm also going to go. Why don't we explore down uh, this way? I want to see what's down here. It looks like uh, some sort of barricaded wall. But I wonder as well, like, those bandits that we saw earlier, like, on patrol. Like, were they from here? Oh, what is this little road? I don't know, but I kind of want to investigate. Yeah, but were they from there? Or were they kind of like, they're just own little patrol? And are they going to come back to a dead watchtower person and like, uh, kind of be mad? Because I think at some point you can actually anger the raiders or the bandits. I'm, I always call them raiders. I think you can actually anger them to the point where like, they'll literally attack you or something. I'm not sure when or where, but I think it is a possibility. What is up here? What in tarnation? It's a huge wide open area. Dude, is this like where you're supposed to build your own castle? This is insane. This is just a huge wide open area. Dude, oh, hold up. It goes higher. I think this might be for like building your own huge base. In which case, I mean, once we get a lot of resources, we might want to start building something up over here. What's up this flight of stairs? Or not stairs, but this flight of dirt. Anything handy? How are we looking on stamina? Oh, our fatigue's going down. Our thirst is going down. Yeah. We might want to make our way back home at some point. I don't have any water to drink. So that's bad. Does this lead to anything? Or is this just like... No, it doesn't. Unless I'm missing something. Which is always a possibility. It doesn't look like this leads to anything. Just this huge wide open area. So yeah, I'll keep this in mind if we ever want to like build a huge base from scratch. But for now... We're trying to build our own little base. Maybe in the future, we'll turn our current base into like an outpost, like a secondary base, as we start to build kind of an ultimate base in this little opening. If watchtower is up on the ridge. Because like, it would take a lot of wood to properly do that, but there are a lot of trees around. Dude, that'd be dope though, having like a huge just castle up in here. Multiple floors, multiple levels. That's got some potential. And I also got some potential to lose the stamina. Because we are out. Um, are we hungry? Like, I don't want to eat the beans because that will just make us more hunger. Uh, yeah, we got to make our way back home. and We got to get some water. We might start dying of thirst soon, too. 
I really should have checked up on my water before I decided to go on this little expedition, but we're bringing the hunting rifle back home. I think we're going to load it up with some ammo, and then low-key, I kind of want to see if we can't take out some bandits using it. Like, figure out how to use the hunting rifle. Does it have bullet drop? Does it just shoot straight? You just kind of learn more about it. I'm kind of down ski doodle for that. But yeah, I'm just surprised that this was literally just like a solo raider manning this outpost. But yeah, from there, once we get our hunting rifle and everything set up, I think in the future, maybe we uh, explore down that road. And we'll use that as opportunity to... I don't know. Go and take out bandit camp down there. See if it leads us to anything else as well. Although, before we take out a bandit camp, I'm going to be honest with you. We need some more ammo, man. We got 10 bullets for our M16 or M4 or whatever rifle it is. And we still got plenty of pistol ammo. Not plenty. We still got five. I guess I should say we still... We didn't lose any pistol ammo throughout today. So that's kind of nice. But yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm really skeptical though. Like, I saw those bandits and I know that they could patrol. So, I don't want to like do too much like... I, I hate turning my back to them. Also, I should probably not be collecting this stuff. I... I let's just... Let's just go home. After I loot up a couple more things. I'm sorry. I'm a lootaholic. Okay, let's fill that can up. We are about to start dying of thirst. So this is bad. It should take a while, though, so we're still not dying of thirst. Excuse me? Oh, there you go. There's the dying kicking right in. Hey, the Coca-Cola. Let's go. The Coca-Cola is here to save the day. Oh, my God. It's Misty. That is no. Not, really? I drink a Coke and this happens? Just the mist rolls in? Full blast? All right. Well, in that case, prime time for us to make our way back home. Not trying to deal with all of this out of the mist. We can still loot up that little gas station over there. Obviously, this town and the raider's strange connection to it still has me interested a little bit. Also, the raider that we freaking lost to the abyss over here to the right. Things are looking weird. This is like, this is setting this up perfectly for like a horror movie. The raider that struck back. I'm, I'm really not good at coming up with horror movie names. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, we're almost home though. Hopefully, dude, Loki. I thought that tree stump was like a massive zombie or something. I this miss. They plays tricks on you, man. Makes you go crazy, man. And we still got some more wall sections we gotta work on. But oh, can I just say now that we have this hunting rifle? Hold up, hold up, hold up. How's the meat drying? Oh, that meat is dry, dry, baby. Speaking of which, how quickly does dried meat like go bad? Uh, it's at 88.7%, so... Okay, genuine question. Can I eat this, or am I about to food poison myself? Like, is this is this jerky, or, like, do I gotta cook this first? Have I just contracted salmonella? Nah, we're doing okay, so... Yeah, I, I guess this might be jerky. Okay, I'll take it. Also, with our new and improved base defenses, don't think we need to worry about, uh... Zombies breaking into here. Yeah, what up, Scott? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, you chill over here. Where is our lady friend? Ah, staring at the door. My favorite pastime. I don't blame you. Okie dokie then. Now, where is that ammo for the hunting rifle? Because it is time late. We only got seven bullets? Okay, we probably got to find some more ammo for this thing. I'm not going to lie, but let's go and uh, I'll, put the, I'll put the pistol away for now. I'll equip hunting rifle and here we have this puppy. Let's go and begin that glorious reload. And, oh, it loads two bullets? Or is this, oh no, it's five bullets. We have two left over. Dude, I want to freaking hunt a bandit with this. That would be so cool. What up, Rachel? Okay, are the zombies aware of us? I, th I think they might be. I hear them being all growly. Luckily, I'm not too worried about them breaking in. What up, zombies? How you doing? Look at that, man. You are, oh my goodness gracious. That's a fugly zombie, bro. Yeah, dude, they literally like, I think the fact that they know they can't get in is now made us safe. Dude, this is a nice improvement. Yeah, why don't we just go? We're getting kind of tired. Let's sleep through this. I think that'll be the move. We're getting fatigued anyway. Uh, let's go with like an hour. Let's sleep an hour at a time. Oh my God. Rachel, handle this. Rachel, what are they breaking into? Yeah, they can't get in, so we're good. Yeah, look at that. They're literally stuck. They can't get in. That is marvelous. Rachel, why are you shooting the wall? Shoot the zombie, you doofus. Okay, I'm gonna let Rachel keep doing that. I'm trying to get my beauty sleep. I can't get my beauty sleep. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Oh, there we go. I'm sleeping. Let's go. Hopefully, I didn't just, like, glitch the game or something through all my sleep spam. Is it daytime now? A little bit dark for daytime, but it's, technically speaking, daytime. Okay, Scott's just Y-posing around. Why does the game have, like, such a... 
Does it just feel like... Am I crazy or does it feel like slightly tinted? Like the game itself. This is really weird. I don't know what's going on. Interesting. Okay, what's it going to take to finish up this wall, though? I'm a man of progress. Uh, it's going to take 20 nails, 12 logs, and 8 planks. Let me go and get those things. I forgot how many of each we needed, but I know that we needed a poop ton of logs, nails, and some planks. Always try- Listen, I'm just trying to make some steady progress on this wall building. You know. We might need to yell at Scott to go and harvest- Oh, there we go. Now it looks normal. Okay. So I guess, like, accessing that inventory kind of fixed things. Let's go and prop this up a little bit. Uh, hopefully nighttime doesn't hit because we're kind of out in the open. Two logs. Uh, sorry about the burp. Six wood. And eleven. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, Scott. You are a doofus. Uh, yeah. I, I know that he said we need planks. Or whatever. So yeah, I got plenty of those. Uh, logs? Uh, do they not have logs? Uh, no, I guess not. We might need to... Uh, I still got a poop ton of wood up there. We might just maybe... Need to tell Scott to go harvest some more up. I think it's gotten to that point. Oh, Scottus! Scott, my good friend. Oh, what's up, zombie? How you doing? Can you guys not drop anything? Like, come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Give me a little bit of food or something. Oh, we had two trying to knock on the- Hey! That dude was like a freaking computer engineer or something. That man just had a, a chill with an electronic circuit. Let's go and kind of move this puppy into... Into... Oh my goodness gracious. Nope, nope. Let's move it into... Oh my god. There we go. Into the premises. Then we'll move it into here and... I don't really know where to put this one. Uh, why don't we put it... I'll just plop it over here, I guess. Why not? I'll take it. Maybe this will turn this into the log storage. I don't know. We'll figure out some specifics. Scott, where'd you go, buddy? Where did you go, my friend? I gotta yell at you. Go get me some logs. Scott... Where'd you go? Scott? Scott? Oh, there you are. <laughs> That's how you can find him. He's just Y posing around. <gasps> hey, he stopped Y posing. My man. Okay, yeah, let's assign some work to you. Harvest some flipping trees. Yeah, please pick up the logs. I don't know why you weren't doing that last time. Um, can I tell you to pick up branches? Is that okay? And yeah, you're going to be working for three hours, my guy. Just, uh, don't die. Eh, three hours might be too long. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, yeah, Scott. Hold on. Do you have anything in your inventory? No, he doesn't. Well, you better have something in your inventory when you're done with this, buddy. All right, now let's finish building this puppy up. Hopefully nighttime doesn't fall up on us too quickly. Now nah, we'll be okay. I might yell. I might give Scott. Oh, my God. I need two logs. You chop down those trees, Scott? Scott, I don't see disappeared trees. Scott, where did you chop down these trees, buddy? You better have them logs in your inventory, boy. Scott, are they in your inventory? Scott, what have you been doing this entire time? Where have you been? I'm in your <laughs> Why you do this, Scott? You are so difficult to work with, my guy. I genuinely have no clue where he chopped down these trees. I saw him wander over this way. I got no clue what happened, though. But baby, baby, I love the fact that we finally got this hunting rifle. That is such a big W. Things are coming up Millhouse, except for the fact that Scott is apparently on strike and he's not going to work. Please leave a message after the beep. I really should have tried to leave some more logs. I thought I had more. Dude, I definitely like left them somewhere and just totally forgot about them in classic me fashion. Plenty of branches and stuff here, but I need logs. Scott, did he even harvest the stuff? Or did he not harvest because like I asked his inventory or like I accessed his inventory? I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna chop down my own tree. Scott, you're a nuisance to work with. I'm gonna just tell you that right now. Bloop. Bloop. Let's go and get us one tree. I think literally one tree will be enough for us. I am not picky right now. Just give me some wood, baby. That's all that I need. Yeah, yeet. Nope, missed it. I am the worst wood chopper in the world. Yeah, yeet. Look at this thing. Just they're getting chipped away before it topples over. And with one more, or two more, or three more chops to go. Goodbye, Timber! There you go. Thank you for the log, Sunny Jim. But appreciate it. Get five out of one tree. Not the worst deal in the world. And then we can also chop down the stump. And I think it gives us some wood, too. You said, like, kind of like have to go through another chopping process. Hey, free log. 
Okay, and now it's time for us to complete the build. And without further ado, our little wall structure up here, it's progressing nicely, man. Next thing's next. I kind of want to get like, can I get like a light up here? So it's actually like kind of light. Is there any light buildings or are they all electric? They are all electrical for the most part. So yeah, we got to try to like figure out some electricity, which I think we can maybe build on the workbench. So that might be one of the next things we try to build. Because even getting like a lantern post light, like... I'm not gonna lie, I kinda just want one... I don't know, like, I'm not gonna be too picky about it. Um... Maybe like, right there? Like, that'd look kinda cool. Yeah, we need an electronic part. I think I got all of these things except for like... One more component, my bad. I'll go and get one of those, but... And eh, nighttime's officially upon us, so we gotta worry, but... Yeah, dude, if I could get some like, electricity hooked up to this, that'd be awesome. Because, technically speaking, I think we're safe from zombies up here. And like... The fact that we have this, like, place up here that we could climb to, and now we have a hunting rifle. Maybe we kind of, like, toss a little box up here with the hunting rifle and hunting rifle ammo, and... Dude, if someone attacks us, we have a glorious view to gun them down before they even get close. But, uh, yeah, with that said, with that done, I think that's a pretty good point for us to go ahead and end off this very triumphant episode of Miss Survival, because... The hunting rifle, it's ours, lads, and I couldn't be happier because I've been trying to get this thing for a minute. And at this point, there's only a couple of more weapons that avoid us before we have access to every single thing in the game. What was that noise? You guys need help, Scott? I'm, I have Overwatch on you, Scott. What are you doing? You picking your nose? Or are you walking inside to pick your nose? No, he's walking around the corner. I see you, buddy. What you walking over to? You gonna steal my car? Is that what you're planning? Oh, I see you looking at that meat. Oh, you know I'm watching you. You want a little bit of that meat. That's my meat. Stay away from my meat, Scott. Oh. What about you, Rachel? You're just going inside. Very nice, very nice. See, it lets me play Big Brother super nicely. You know, it just makes things really convenient for us. But, uh, yeah. With that said, with that done, I think that's a pretty good point for us to go in and end off this episode of Miss Survival. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.